banner across the top, and right now we're talking about the UN reports at least 240 civilian casualties and 64 deaths in Ukraine. To give you a perspective, communism, when it took over in the Soviet Union, or took over in Russia, Eastern Europe, uh, between was the Bolshevik Revolution, it was like 1917-ish, to um, uh, 1940s-ish, around there. 20 million civilians died because of uh, well, communism. They took over the farming. Instead of producing um, for value, they produced for Mother Russia. And nobody produced anything. So, but 64 dead. That's always is tragic. And, uh, to never downplay that. But however, how many Ukrainians died from uh, coronavirus? I wonder. Huh. At least 64 civilians have been killed and more than 160,000 are on the move after Russian troops entered Ukraine this week, the United Nations Relief Agency said. Hey, if you want relief from the United Nations, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We're going to get through the our uh, thermonuclear war games here together. Um, as of 5 p.m. on the 26th, uh, the office reports at least 240 civilian casualties, 64 dead. Uh, damage to civilian infrastructure has left hundreds of thousands of people without electricity or water. Hundreds of homes have been damaged or destroyed, while bridges and roads hit by shelling have left some communities cut off from markets, it said. You know, that was funny because the uh, Russians did a uh, cyber attack and cut off our oil pipeline to civilians. And so everybody was cut off from markets. Um, I saw the UN Refugee Agency is saying more than 160,000 people have been internally displaced, with more than 116,000 forced to flee into neighboring countries. Would there be, like, lines of people? Where's that? What are those pictures? I just want to see them. It, it paints a, a better picture. UN agencies and humanitarian partners have been forced to suspend operations due to the deteriorating security situation. Oh, no. The UN, is, they're not safe. <laughs> Jeez. The UN has partners maintain that uh, their presence across the country and remain committed to staying on the ground, responding to growing humanitarian needs and protection risks. Once the situation permits. Yeah, but still, though, we're talking about, I mean, ooh, wait a second. Now, here's one. It says we are such a uh, wonderful uh, world of loving everybody. Um, were these 64 deaths, were they vaccinated? Were they wearing a mask? These are questions I have. I've been uh, berated about this for uh, two years now, and I think it's time that we uh, ask those questions because I mean, if they weren't vaccinated, did they count? Wasn't that what we were talking about uh, just a few months ago? Um, we need to bring this up. We need to know, were these people vaccinated? If they weren't vaccinated, then now the world's safer because they're dead. That is the lingo of other people, not me, and I'm only saying it to make you think because critical thought is a lost art. So, Tubes, I'm not advocating anything. I'm just advocating you. Just think about it. Just think both sides of the coin here. We need to take a breather. And I would never advocate war. That's the main thing here. If it's not to protect our borders and boundaries of the United States and our own personal sovereignty, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, we need to protect someplace I can't even find on a map. I'm sorry that... But that's the way everybody feels. I mean, honest to goodness, everyone feels that way. People who don't, they have a financial interest into it that is sickening and demoralizing. So if you like this jibber-jabbering content here and you agree with me and you aren't afraid to ask why, hit that subscribe button. We're going to get through this thing together. Till next time, I love you guys. Stay safe. Tell someone else you love them. Hug somebody got to get back out there and touch human touch is good handshakes fist bumps are great if you don't want a handshake do the fist bump but anyway just be around people 
Until next time, adios, muchachos.